we're off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. Now we play a game. At Two Sigma, we have a history of programming competitions. We wanted something that was exciting for an audience to watch. And that's where the idea for the robotic air hockey came into play. And this is probably the most exciting competition that we put together so far. The air hockey table that we built for this contest was developed as an iterative design. We worked with some outside robotics experts to design a new system that was inspired by the cable cameras used at football games. We closed the loop with the vision system that was designed by the other team members. It uses two of these PlayStation Eye cameras, each mounted on one of these brackets here. Through these cameras, we will get two different pictures of the table. From the full blue table, we can then find the green puck and the red mallet using computer vision. The position of the puck and the mallet is then relayed to the contestants via the game server. The challenge was between the AI teams to take the vision data that we provided to them and generate the motor commands to be able to beat the other AIs as well as the human from the human brackets. When you give people some time away from their desks to be creative, a lot of innovation can happen. When they're working on these activities, they're using programming languages they've never used before. They're using libraries that they've never experimented with before. I wrote my AI in Python. It definitely gave me a chance to practice using some areas of Python that I don't normally use, and it's a chance to be a little bit experimental. And it's just fun. Me and Peter were a little nervous because we weren't sure how well our AI was going to perform because it's not like a sure thing. The strategy was to play conservatively, look at the position of the puck and the direction that the puck is moving in and predict where it's going to be. One thing I learned, you know, simple is probably always better. You can definitely go into this kind of problem and come up with all sorts of crazy solutions that'll take you a long time to implement and debug, but you should probably just try the simplest thing first. Essentially, I tried to make it play like I would play air hockey, so I was definitely going for uh, speed and sort of general being in the right area at the right time rather than uh, accuracy. Your champion will see through my eyes and control my arms. Human, enter my world and see who reigns supreme. The surprise was that instead of playing uh, manually with my hands, I got suited up with an Oculus headset and had to control it using a touch screen. So I got the exact same interface that the, the robot AI had. The Two Sigma Cup is definitely a celebration of engineering. Two Sigma came out victorious because it's an opportunity for Two Sigma employees to really get involved in new and cutting edge technologies. Really, the medium is the message. You gotta try something different to really innovate. Next year, I hope we do this again, and I will absolutely be back to try some of the things I wanted to try. I'm really excited for that.